I'm an engineer at Railsmore company, and uh, in our company we have little problem when developed. As we know, as I know, exist two ways to render uh, interface in a Rails application. Uh, first uh, is you render content on backend by server and send it to browser. The second is uh, more interesting, then your backend have only API and all uh, interface rendered by JavaScript. Uh, but uh, we have a little problem if you have hybrid application. For example, partially it rendered on backend and partially you use JavaScript to uh, paint some interface or use the same. And sometimes, for example, you need to use uh, the same template on backend and frontend. Uh, this problem, for example, then you have application uh, for standard, for example, list of products, and uh, in one time you need to add some uh, possibility to delete, edit it in one line, and you need the same template. But uh, if you, for example, use JavaScript templating, for example, handlebars, Hovenjs, mustache, uh, you need to duplicate the server-side template and client-side template. So, with another developer, Alexander, uh, we low mustache and develop a special extension called SMT Rails. It shared mustache template for Rails 3. Uh, it's simple to install, uh, just need to add to the uh, file and uh, start generator. Uh, this is example how to uh, this template and how to render this template into action view and how to render this template in JavaScript. Uh, all template uh, rendered in special namespace uh, called SMT. Of course, you can change gate in action view into render or, or namespace, what you want. After then they published this extension, uh, some people ask us, what about handlebars? You use only mustache. Uh, of course, we use only mustache because it's simple and have many engines for many languages. But uh, people say, I want handlebars, give me handlebars, share templates. And uh, we also give for people uh, extension for share handlebars templates with very interesting name. Shit Rails. <laughs> share handlebars templates for Rails. Uh, yeah, this, uh, uh, of course, handlebars just uh, don't have engine on Ruby. So this, for example, then use the Ruby Racer to render server side this handlebars templates. That's all. Ah, and of course, you can see example by this link. This example show for, uh, in this example first ten products, for example, rendered on server side. And uh, this example have uh, scrollable pagination. So when you scroll, uh, server send uh, JSON data, another, uh, for example, 10 products, and render these uh, products by JS templates. So you use one template for server side and client side. That's all.